So my mom's side of the family, Aloyan, they came to Niagara Falls through Detroit. So family settled in Detroit and I'm assuming job opportunities brought them to Niagara Falls, but I'm not necessarily sure. And then dad's side of the family, Ohanassian side, by way of Rhode Island and, Virginia. and Richmond, Virginia. When I think of being Armenian, not only do I think of the legacy of your family and the Armenian culture, but food is a big part of it. And um, it's just wonderful. We do an Armenian picnic every summer at our Uncle Bonnick's house and every family brings a different Armenian dish to it and it's just a big celebration of family and food and it's just um, something to bring everyone together. My mom would make dolma for dinner and pilaf and chicken pretty much once a week or just, it wasn't even a special occasion, it was just standard. Um, I think growing up knowing that some of the dishes that took more time like Monty or Lakmejun or you know shish kebab or some of the other things like that took more time so there was more meaning behind them. It wasn't just an everyday occurrence. So, I mean, mom is a great cook. Grandma was a great, I mean, both of our grandmothers were great cooks. We've done baking since a young age with um, both um, sides of our, the Ohanessian side and the Aloyan side. Um, Chudeg was something that we had been doing since forever. Nut cookies, um, little uh, S cookies. Kurabia. Kurabia. And so we've just been doing it forever. And then also, Lisa and I are both part of the Armenian Relief Society um, mm -hmm. through St. Hagop's Church where we do baking every year with them. Um, Help the ladies in the kitchen. Yeah. Um, they need some younger man for the manual labor <laughs> and so we've learned a lot from them learning to make chude cookies and different things that we maybe didn't do with our own family that we did with our St. Hagop's family with Sonia and Rachel and everyone in the kitchen there. Um, this chude recipe that we made today was passed down from our grandma Barbara Aloyan. Um, our mom and grandma have and sister and us have always been a part of making it or our, our um, cousins and everything and it's grandma was famous for her chudig everyone knew Barbara's chudig and it was the best around and I think Lisa and I have spent time making sure that we are able to replicate that for our family and still have it around at holidays and yeah I mean we always slept over her house you know the night before that she would make it to help her and she didn't make it we made it because she taught us how to make it so we you know know all the tricks in the trade because it came from her and it's very easy to make because we naturally just grew up making it like every time you would go over whether we made it fresh that time or she pulled it out of the freezer and put it in the oven like every family gathering there would be that beautiful smell of chudig and she would hide them along with her nut cookies like you know before the house like so you know christmas it wasn't just sitting out like they were hidden so people would have to go you know try to find them and maybe like break some <laughs> off or find a nut cookie and just eat it before because it was coveted and everybody knew it chudig is made special by the Melab. Even Lori was just talking in the kitchen, can we bottle that up and make a candle out of it? It's such a distinct, unique smell and taste that instantly, if you smell it, you know it's made, going to be made into chodeg. For me, my favorite thing about chodeg is the memory of making it with my grandma. Just being in her kitchen on 91st Street in Niagara Falls, just, you know, her showing us how to make the dough and just the steps and just little, you know, memories of just being with her. Going through the motions and just 
being back in her kitchen and just how you know she would pour the um, warm milk and butter into the bowl and just I think if I remember she like pulled you know a kitchen chair over because we were little to you know knead the dough and just just being back there. My favorite part of making shudig is the tradition that comes with it and knowing that my grandma taught me how to make the chudig and then being able to pass it down to my own children. Um, I enjoy when we get to make it together as a family and they get to have their hands in it learning the process just like I did when I was growing up. And I just think um, our Armenian culture is so important to us. We grew up in this Armenian community in Niagara Falls and it's very meaningful to us and we want to pass that same legacy down to our own children. Thank you.